If you don't know how to start a compressor demo, here's a pro tip for you. Just do the Joe Dart. Hi everyone, Gregor here and today with René Flexenhaar on bass. The big advantage of some amazing expensive studio compressors is that they're not only doing their job compressing your signal, they also change your overall tone and mostly in a very beautiful way. Today we have this, the Atlas Compressor by Source Audio, which recreates a bunch of these amazing old studio units. The true dart sound in the intro was the second studio setting, which is an 1176, which we got surprisingly close to the legendary Wolf Compressor. Now let's hear one of the optical settings, one with a fast reaction time, but soft transitions. Really nice how it brings your bass a few feet forward in the mix and adds this really cool tube amp kind of feeling. The third type of compressor in here is called the dual option. This splits your bass into frequency ranges and deals with them separately. And here's an example with lots of low end compressed. Hey, future video editing Krieko here. I just realized I forgot to mention a very important feature and that is the bass mode for the Atlas compressor. Uh, it's super easy to switch it to bass mode, which you of course want as a bass player. Just hold the alternate functions button down while you power it up and you're already good to go. It either flashes once or twice. One is the guitar mode, the other is the bass mode, but uh, the pedal comes with this little sheet uh, explaining how this all works. So that's it. On with the video. Since the Atlas is a one series pedal, we get the typical layout that we've seen countless times before on other pedals from Source Audio. We have our two inputs, we have our two outputs, and on the back we have uh, this mini USB port to all the digital things and this little control jack that you find on all these pedals. The primary controls are threshold, ratio, blend, and output volume. But when you push the alternate button on the back, you enable the secondary functions, tone, attack, and release. And then there's this little toggle here in the middle, choosing out of the three different compression types that you get. And again, uh, with the alternate button on the back, uh, you get, of course, three more. And now let's hear an amazing example of a very famous optical compressor, the LA-2A. Just in case someone needs to be reminded why Sandberg made this a signature bass, that's why. What a sound. Since this is source audio, you've already seen it on the sound samples, there's a neuro editor app that lets you make adjustments way beyond the possibilities you get on the pedal itself. Here you can individualize the effect for both channels, you can save even more presets, but most importantly here are all the visual representations you could ask for. This here is the desktop app, but you can do the same things on your phone. Last but not least, let's hear another one of the studio settings, a fast VCA compressor that you usually use for the fast stuff. I'm always amazed what Source Audio puts together in these. This is definitely reaching for the compressor pedal crown. It definitely belongs with the Empress, with the Kellys, with the Hyperluminals to the best out there. And out of those, it's actually the most versatile. That's it, thanks for watching. If you want to check it out, just click one of the links in the video description. And if it's one of the dealer's links and you buy something through this link, not just this pedal, anything else, we get a little kickback from these dealers. So if you decide to do that, if you want to support us, that's just a very easy way doesn't cost you anything, still helps us. So if you do that, think I, I, I'm, I'm done talking for today. Bye. Facebook.